Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, this video is going to be in continuation of the previous one in which we saw what happens if we use the FIFO model group uh, with include physical value option turned off and now we are going to turn that option on and see what happens. Uh, so let's go in the environment. For today's scenario we are going to use uh, item number FIFO it which is uh, using an FIFOW as a item model group uh, in this item model group uh, physical include physical value option is turned on for this product I have already created some inventory transaction uh, let's go and take a look at that manage cost transactions uh, uh, for the first transaction I have created a receipt transaction using a purchase order in which the physical cost amount and financial cost amount is same uh, for second transaction I created another receipt transaction using a purchase order in which uh, the physical cost amount and financial uh, cost amount is different for third transaction, I created a, a issue transaction using inventory adjustment journal in which the cost amount was uh, taken using the moving average method. So now we will create a issue transaction using purchase order in which uh, uh, we will only use physical cost amount. Let's create a new purchase order. Select the vendor. everything else will be populated select the item fee for aid and enter the price as 25 let's save this So the purchase order has been confirmed now let's go and do a product receipt uh, so the product receipt uh, has been done now let's go and take a look at inventory transaction press this uh, so physical cost amount uh, is added uh, next we will uh, create another issue transaction using purchase order in which we will do both uh, physical cost amount and financial cost amount and also both of this uh, amount are going to be the same Let's confirm this purchase order. Now let's do a product receipt. Copy the purchase order number. Now let's do an invoice as well. Update match status. Enter the invoice number and now post this invoice. So this has been invoice. Now let's take a look at the uh, inventory transactions now. Refresh this page. So another entry has been added. Of 30 physical cost amount 30 financial cost amount now we will do an issue transaction using inventory adjustment journal select the warehouse okay 
and add the item FIFO 8 and enter the quantity in minus because we are doing an invent issue transaction save this and now let's just post this so journal has been posted now let's go and take a look at inventory transactions uh, yeah here you can see uh, that while uh, calculating the moving average uh, the system also considered the transaction uh, which only has physical cost amount and no financial cost amount unlike in our uh, previous video and this happened uh, because we turned the include physical value option on uh, yeah and uh, now for our final step let's do a recalculation to see the adjustments calculation uh, let's filter the item three four eight click ok and it will take a second let's refresh this yeah it's there uh, here we can see the system adjusted the cost amount according to FIFO inventory uh, valuation method so yeah that was all for this video see you guys in the next video